Can you taste the olives? You just ate I olive, mean, right? I just ate an olive, so yes. So you can taste the olive. <laughs> so I can taste an olive. That's for sure. <laughs> no, I mean, in the wine. Sure, I mean, I can't tell if it's the actual olive I ate or an olive taste right. in the wine. <laughs> but I can taste the olives. <laughs> okay, I'll go with that. Welcome to our casa, and today we're making polo alla cacciatora. But before we get started, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell for notifications on future videos. Cacciatora, meaning hunter style. Uh, you're probably familiar with this, is more of a tomato base, but today we're going to make it Bianca style. With beautiful fresh herbs, some amazing olives, some citrus, and of course, white wine. Sir, I think we need some wine. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to start the video with the wine, with the wine section. I am very flattered. Thank you. Well, we need the wine for the chicken. Exactly. <laughs> That's the only reason why. So, um, today this video starts with the wine. The wine we're drinking today is called Mantonico Bianco. Not very well known, neither in the United States nor in Italy, Mantonico Bianco is growing and has been produced in diminishing uh, uh, amounts since 10-15 uh, years ago. So uh, now we have the chance to try this wine. We don't know for how longer this wine is going to be present in the market. Mantonico Bianco. We are again in Calabria, La Mezia Terme, in the province of Catanzaro. Greek colonizer brought this type of wine in this area more than 2500 years ago. We are talking about 700 before Christ. And this uh, Mantonico specifically is known as the Mediterranean wine of the prophets. Why? It comes from its name, Mantonico, coming from, of course, the Greek Mantonikos, Mantin Eos, which means fortune teller or prophet. Legend around these type of wines tell that uh, if you drink uh, a certain amount of uh, this wine, your consciousness is going to reach an altered state that gives you prophetic powers. Uh, they <laughs> <laughs> Bring it out! Let's pop it open now! <laughs> Let's pop it open. Um, yeah, they call it state of elation. So I don't know if a bottle is going to be enough to bring us to this, to elevate us to this uh, state where we cook our wine. But we'll, we'll give it a try. We'll, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> Let's give it. <laughs> Let's give it a try. The producer uh, we are tasting today is a family-owned winemaker called Statti. The estate exists in the area La Mezia Terme since the late 1700. All the state. They have olive groves, citrus groves, cattle breeding. They have a huge uh, diversified uh, production in their estate. Of course, the center, the core, is uh, dedicated to uh, vineyards. We are very, very excited to try this Mantonico today. I never had a Mantonico in my life, so let's open it. Perfetto! Tonico. Cheers. Delicious. You can you can actually taste the citrus from the neighboring uh, fields. Mm, 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 you want to say something? Um, it's delicious. That's it. Let's start cooking. So we're using chicken thighs because this is Nucci's favorite cut of uh, the chicken. So usually for this recipe, you're going to use a piece of chicken, uh, a darker meat with skin on, bone in, uh, but today we are using skinless, boneless, because that's what we have. First things first, let's season our chicken with some salt and some fresh cracked black pepper. In a large saute pan, I'm going to put it over high heat and add some pork fat, or lardo as they call it in Italy. Of course, you can use olive oil if you don't want to be monsters like us. All right, let's put our chicken in. After two minutes, flip them to the other side. Browning 
the chicken first is really gonna hold in all the beautiful juices of the chicken when we cook it with everything else. After another two minutes, we're gonna take our chicken and put it on a plate. All right, I'm gonna lower my flame. I'm gonna add some olive oil into those beautiful juices. We're gonna add three cloves of garlic and one onion, nice thinly sliced. Okay, after five minutes of cooking, we're gonna add our chicken back in. And let all those juices. I'm gonna add one sprig of rosemary and 10 sage leaves. Now we add one cup of white wine. Okay, we're gonna let the wine cook down a little bit till it evaporates a bit, then we're gonna add some more ingredients. Once your wine has evaporated, and you can kinda see that it looks a little creamy almost, we're going to lower our flame to medium low, and we're gonna add a cup of Castel Vitrano olives, the best of the best. They still have their pits in them, that's totally fine. I'm also going to add some fresh lemon peel just for a little citrus. And I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken broth. Thank you, Pablo, for bringing this homemade beauty of a broth over to us. And now, we cover. And after 20 minutes, oh yeah. Okay, first off, it's super tender and soft. That's what you want it to like kind of fall apart when a fork hits it. Oh my god, it does. Okay, big bite. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Mmm. Oh my god. This is the olives. It's the olives. It's the wine. It's that little bit of that lemon peel. This is spectacular. That's pretty good. Yeah, and super easy. What that little sauce turned into is everything. There's a whole leaf of sage. Of sage yeah. Because it's those fr mm. those fresh herbs. I could literally like. Take this sauce in. <laughs> That's how good. Oh! Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell for notifications on future videos. And enjoy your life. Eat good chicken. <laughs> Eat good food. Drink good wine. And uh, love, love each other. other. <laughs>